Hey y'all, this is Lady J with Lady J's Custom Designs. Welcome to my channel where I'm all about DIYs, press on nails, and nail art. So stay tuned to see what we can get into today. So I'm on my way to my home away from home, Dollar Tree. So let's get right on to it. So I'm doing a Dollar Tree DIY. I'm making a Christmas carousel. So these are the items that I have. I have three packs of these um, bulbs. These two are a little bit bigger. These ones are smaller. I also got these two packs. I got these lights right here. I got three packs of these cute little reindeers. I have a, a cute snowflake ornament. I have a giant glitter ornament. I have two of these uh, foam wreaths. Um, I'm going to show you why I have them marked here in a minute. I got these skewers. Um, that, all, that, all that is from Dollar Tree. Also, I got this uh, pink from Dollar Tree. Um, then I have the this glue got off of Amazon. This glitter I got from Walmart. Things that I already have. Um, I have my leveler to make sure my thing, uh, my carousel is leveled out. Um, and just got some newspaper glue, everything like that. Newspaper because I'm going to paint some things over here. So um, this is all of my items again from Dollar Tree. Okay, so for your Christmas carousel, you're going to start off with your two uh, foam uh, wreath forms. You got two of them. And then I have six skewers. Um, what I did, they're all 4.2 inches apart each one. Once I have them all lined up on the top one, I line it up with the bottom one. And I push the skewers all the way through to the bottom. So they're, appear they're going all the way through the bottom of the second one. So once you have that done, you can go ahead and start, oops, start lifting up your top three foam. And you want to hold down these bottom ones to make sure that they don't come out. But you're just going to lift that up on there. This is the way I found to be the easiest way to keep them all leveled and um, keep them all uh, together um, so they're not all wobbly and all. So you make it um, as tall as you want because again you're going to be baking a carousel. So you want it to be enough, tall enough at least because I want them to kind of stagger. So you want to be tall enough to where you are able to stagger them because they're not super, super tall, but you want to make sure um, their antlers are not hitting the top foam because like I said, you're going to kind of have them staggering up and down on each one. So let's see. Um, put one down there. Make it a little bit taller here. So I want it to be the height of this one. Let's see, because I'm going to have some down here. And, okay, so uh, that one is, let's see. That is about eight inches. So let me make sure, let me double check and make sure that's about eight inches. Um, nope, I was wrong. That's about seven and a half inches. So seven and a half inches. So I'm gonna go ahead a little bit. So just measure each one. Make sure it's about oh look I didn't move that one. Seven and a half inches, because that's how high I want it. So you're gonna go around each one, measure it, and make sure it's seven and a half inches, and then we'll come back with the leveler and make sure that is completely leveled. 
Okay, so I measured each one of these. They're all seven and a half inches long. And then I got my um, leveler. Um, if you don't have one of these, just, just measuring it should be um, good enough. But I went ahead and I um, uh, <coughs> did each one and I leveled it. And I just kind of kept turning it just to make sure it was leveled all the way around. Um, so once you do that, you have it leveled. Now before I cut off these tips up here, I'm going to add some glue to them, some hot glue. That way they um, they don't shift or move while I'm uh, when I cut them off. So go ahead and just put you some glue. You could do it on the top and the bottom. See right where the skewer is coming out. Do it on the top in the bottom of each um, skewer here just so that way like I said when you're when you cut them off they don't move um, don't want to put too much but just enough to keep it steady so I'm gonna do it on the top and then I'm gonna go around and do this on the bottom as well okay so I have those I got glue all around these. I put them all around the top part up here and all around. And then also on the top part, I put some on there as well. So you got that all glued on. And once you do that, go ahead and take your scissors and just cut off the excess skewer. colors you like um, I'm just going to stick with the white um, you want to paint this um, definitely uh, because you're going to be putting these ornaments on here and you don't want to be seeing the green through on there on these and then these obviously you don't want to leave them I mean you can if you want but I don't want to leave them that color so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to paint this with that acrylic paint um, and make sure you get both sides of your skewers here get the front and the back um, you don't have to paint the bottom of of, um, of these obviously because you're not going to see it um, but if you want to take the time and paint the bottom too you can do that um, but you just want to paint all of that all the way around and you definitely probably are going to want to do um, two coats just to make sure it's completely covered and make sure you get the inside too you want to make sure it's completely covered up you can spray paint this if you want. I'm not sure how to spray paint. I know they have to spray paint where uh, it doesn't eat through the foam. Um, you can spray paint it. Or if you want to just cover that with ribbon before you start, you can do that as well. Okay, so I got this all painted now. I know it looks a little rough. This is one of those trust the process moments. So while I was waiting for this to dry, I was looking at my ornaments. Realized I don't feel like I had enough. So I went back to Dollar Tree, my home away from home. Um, I got a few more ornaments, so I have a total of three of the 12-piece ornaments. And then I have two of the 15-piece ornaments. And I also have three of the 16-piece smaller ones. Um, and then I seen these while I was there, and I thought it was so cute. And I figured I might wrap those around here before I do on my ornament. So this is after it's all painted and dry. So I'm going to get my little wire garland here. Like I said it was just 
these ones right here with the snowflakes that they were so cute so um we're going to carefully maybe if i can find the end what is this right okay here we go so we are going to take this and wrap it around here and this will kind of help um camouflage some of this um some of this foam as well so i'm just gonna grab the end it's wire so you can bend it i'm gonna grab the end and wrap it around and i'm just gonna twist this around kind of like a zip tie or not zip tie what are those plastic things called that you twist around twist tie i'm just going to twist it around there like that to anchor it on there and then just start wrapping and i have i got two of them so you can um do wrap this around as many times as you want um like i said it'll kind of help camouflage i was looking for the other garland that they have but they didn't have any that had cute colors that would match with what i had so you're just gonna keep that through and just wrap it around um oh, can't reach it <laughs> wrap it around your foam piece like so. Again, another trust and process moment, but I'm going to go all the way around the top and I'm going to do the bottom as well. That's why I got two because I kind of want it to be kind of full um, with these. Uh, but just keep wrapping it around on top and the bottom. And then once I'm done with that, I'll come right back. Okay, so I finished the tedious process of wrapping that around. So here's the end right here. I'm just going to take my hot glue just put a little glue there and we're gonna glue that down just glue that down on there and then once you have that glued down there it is another trust to process moment so once you have that all wrapped around going to start with your putting your elements on so going to start out with the 12 count ones because those ones are a little bit bigger and then going to fill in the um, open areas with the small ones so um since this is foam you can actually just kind of stick that in there so i'm going to start with the bottom um, I want those to go around. So uh, just take that and literally you can just stick it right in to the foam like that. So just kind of stick it in there and then once I make the little hole for it, I'm going to go back in with my glue on the top of it and then stick that in the hole that you created. Just hold that for a few seconds while you have that on there. And just mix them up. And, um, I got different kinds. I got sparkly ones and then just plain gold ones. And I got these ones. Got a little bit of design on there. So you just want to kind of mix it up. And then put them as close together as you can. Repeat that process. Maybe. That's what I want to go with. Oh. <laughs> I have to move the wire out of the way, first of all. And then just stick that into the phone. And just do, oh, this one don't want to work for me. That's okay. Take that top part out. You can stick it in with that part too. So you stick that in to the phone. Create your hole. Put some glue on the top. And just stick that right in that hole you created. And then once you do that, in between each little ball, take a little bit of glue and glue them together. Just like that. All right, so you're just going to continue on with that process. See if I can create a little pattern here. Let's see. Let's take one of these ones next. Move your wire out of the way. Wind that up. 
Now, if you leave it stay laying on the table, um, you can kind of make sure that it's um, they're all lined up and even. They're not going up and down. They'll be even when you put them on there. So, go ahead and just repeat that process. A little bit of glue there, a little glue on the side. And stick that right on in there. There we go. I think just wanted to repeat that process all the way around on the bottom, and then you'll do it on the top as well. Okay, so I have it all glued on the bottom part. Now, before I start the top, this is going to be on the front. So I was going to originally glue it down, but because it's not really quite flat, I figured I will use zip ties instead. So um, this is where, just find where you want to be the front. I'm gonna put it in between two of these right here. Um, just kind of move over your um, your little garland. It cut off this, I cut off the whole tip going to have to use it as an ornament so I'm just going to cut that whole tip off of there but I'm going to put that on there like there there's two metal little uh snowflake ends right here that's where I'm going to put the zip ties around so I'm going to take a zip tie I'm going to lay this right where I want it at take the zip tie and put it through there and I'm going to see it's going to be around this part like that and then against here well let me turn my zip tie the right way okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just do one side a little loosely I'll go ahead and just put both on here it might be a little bit easier to do it that way so just put those on there and then take these two pieces right here and put them through your zip ties. So you have it through your zip ties like that and then you just pull it tight. Position it where you want it. Gauge out before you tighten it too tight. That's kind of where I want it at. Then I just pull my zip ties on there, cut off your access, and that is going to be the front of my thing. Now we're going to use the rest of our big ornaments and fill up, go all the way around this part right here, and then we're going to come back and start filling it in with the small ornaments. So we're going to repeat the same process, just kind of right directly on the side of your foam right here just stick it right in and start gluing it just like you did along the bottom part so just put that in there hold it for a few seconds for a hold and then we're going to go ahead and repeat that all the way around the top part to this side right here and I will come right back okay so this is what it looks like once you get all the ornaments around the bigger ornaments around the top and the bottom so next you're going to start taking your little your smaller ornaments the 16 ones 16 piece one and start filling in the bottom um we'll use the other the medium sized ones next but we're going to go ahead and just repeat the same process just going to uh pull a hole in there with the tip of it and glue it down and make sure you move your snowflakes out the way because you kind of want the snowflakes to sneak, uh, stick out in between the little ornaments like I said that because that kind of camouflages the foam so just go ahead and repeat this process all the way around just putting glue on the tip and sticking that right into the foam. Um, I found it easier to 
take off the little tip, this part right here. Found it easier. It comes like that, and, if you use it, and they come right off. Just take that off, and I found it easier to do that way than sticking the other part in there. So I'm just going to repeat that process like I stated all the way around this bottom part. I'm just going to repeat that process and I'm not going to fill in the, this part yet because my plan is to hopefully keep enough snowflakes down at that part to cover the camouflage that part. I mean you can definitely use ornaments to cover that part but it's a, it's a lot of ornaments so um, that's why I decided to get these little snowflakes to kind of cook, camouflage and cover up some of that foam but if you want to you get more ornaments you definitely can and fill all that in too. So I'll go ahead and repeat that process. Just go all the way around filling it in until you get back to the bottom, uh, to the side and then I'll come back after I'm okay this is what it looks like after I put the smaller ones around this part right here um, some of these little extra snowflakes that fell off um, I'm going to keep those because again I'm going to use some of those to camouflage some of this on the inside of that part um, in here but I want to fill this part in up here first um, I want to make sure because if I have enough ornaments I should have got more but I don't want to use that many ornaments so um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the top part some more first to see how many I have left over and then if I have a, um, enough left over I will go ahead and do another row inside of here if not I'm going to show you I'm going to take off some of these snowflakes from these other ones and fill that in here um, so uh, Got a few of these small ones left over with these ones. I'm going to fill those in up here too. Um, so before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and use these uh, medium sized ones to fill in this top part up here. So we're going to follow the same process, stuffing it or uh, sticking it in. So we're just going to take off the little piece and we're just going to stick it in. And we're going to go all the way around the top part here again and. Um, I'll meet you back here when I finish doing that. So I finished the top part, um, lining those up, and I went ahead and um, did another row on the bottom level as well uh, with the remainder of my small ornaments. I didn't glue them down yet. I just gauged them out to see how much I had to put all the way around there. Um, I was actually short too, so I used I had some of the medium sized ones left. Um, so I just used that one, but now I'm just going to go back in and glue those in, um, in the little holes that I created. I'm just going to go all the way around and glue those into place, um, for this third row that I created. So after I finished that, that's what it looks like. I filled those all in. And like I said, I had some medium sized balls left. So what I went ahead and I had about six of them. I uh, stuck those into the center of the top wreath foam all the way around about an inch apart This is where I'm going to sit my large ornament at um, Again, if you want to get more ornaments to fill this whole thing in you definitely can um, Again, I just didn't feel like going back to the store to get more so I worked with what I had so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just glue those right on in to that middle section where I created those um, little holes at. Um, this is not my normal glue gun that I use, so it took me a little bit longer. Um, I usually use the cool temp one because it um, dries a lot faster. And this is one of my old school backup ones that I um, think I got this one for my, my mom or my grandma. So I was never gonna give it away. I always had that one for my backup, but um, I'm just gonna glue those in and you hold it into place until um, it dries. Again, like I said, it took forever because these ones took forever to dry with this one. I don't know why, I guess because it's a hot temp, it takes a little bit longer to cool off. So um, anyways, but go ahead and repeat that process. Glue those all the way around um, in the middle part of the top section like so. Um, again, it's about a half inch apart, um, half inch, about an inch apart um, around on the inside. Um, and just move your snowflakes out of the way. Um, you like you want to fluff them up because it covers, it actually camouflages very well. Um, you want to fluff them up so um, 
you can see all of those and it covers up that foam like I've been saying the whole time um, you really just don't want that foam to show um, I know on the bottom part it is showing a little bit but I'm going to fluff out the rest of those uh, snowflakes on there and it covers it up very well um, and it looks really good once we're done here you'll see here in a little bit it turns out to be so cute um, I wanted it to originally turn um, I couldn't find one of those little turn uh, it's a display turner um, they have one on Amazon but they're all not quite the size I would need so I would need a uh, to put something on the bottom for it to set on for it to be able to turn um, so I'm thinking I might go back and get one of those um, clear cutting boards that they have there and put that on the bottom of it so I can set that down on one of those uh, display turners um, that you can get on, on Amazon. I haven't seen them anywhere else. I'm pretty sure they have them other places, um, but Amazon is one of my other go-to places all the time. So um, I have those all glued in. Um, on the top part along the middle part of that wreath foam. So now I'm going to take my large ornament I'm going to go ahead and cut off the uh, Plastic piece and we're going to set that right in there and it sets there perfectly um, So you want to go ahead and glue that down to those little ornaments on the inside um, You just take a little dab of glue um, and put them right on not directly on the top kind of to the side you'll see where it where the ornament actually touches it at you'll just want to put a dab of glue there and uh and glue it down if you have a cool temp heating gun you want to kind of move pretty fast to glue these down but like i said this one takes a little bit longer to glue it down so i didn't have to kind of speed through it to um to glue that down um because like i said it doesn't dry that fast but Go ahead and glue that down on there. Make sure um, you get all sides. You don't want it to come loose. Um, so once you have that glued down, that's what it looks like. Very cute already. I love it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. I am going to get a smaller ornament. And I'm going to add that to the top of this. So I'm going to take uh, the tip of my hot glue gun and I'm going to make a hole big enough um, to fit the top part of that small ornament inside of that hole. Um, so you just want to put that, um, make the hole big enough, just move it around until it gets big enough to fit the top of the smaller ornament in there. Um, so just press that down in there. You don't want to press too hard because you don't want to break it. Definitely hold the bottom of the larger ornament while you're um, trying to get that in there so it doesn't fall. Um, I didn't have it quite big enough, so I had to make the hole a little bit bigger. Um, and once you have that uh, hole big enough, you're going to go ahead and just test it out again. Make sure that is big enough before you put the glue on there. And once you do, we're going to glue that to the top of our larger ornament. And you're going to press down, put a little pressure on there, and it put, gets it uh, so there's not a big gap. If you put a little bit of pressure on there, it'll glue, um, melt together just perfectly. Um, so hold that down in place while you're waiting for it to dry. Um, once it does dry, there you go. You have that all completed. Um, so we're ready to go ahead and move on to the next step with the reindeer. Um, this part is a little tedious, um, so I'm going to let you know what I did. So I got three packs of these little reindeer ornaments, and I'm going to go ahead and cut the little plastic pieces off of their um, antlers. Um, I didn't, I'm not going to use those, obviously, so we're going to go ahead and cut those off um, <clears throat> of each one. And then you're going to go ahead, after you cut all of them off, you're going to just open up their antlers a little bit. If they're stuck together, just kind of spread them out a little bit and um go ahead and get them prepared they're very cute it's got a little iridescent sparkly on the outside of them um there's two sides one side um obviously there's two sides <laughs> one side is completely flat and the other side has a little 
um, scarf around it so you want to definitely use the back part that's flat that doesn't have the scarf on it um, I was going to originally use the hot glue with my e6000 glue but it was not working so um, I went ahead and, and tried a different thing, couple things to try to get it on there and you, again like see, so you see it has that iridescent sparkly all over it um, on the back part you're going to go ahead and just scrape some of that off where you're going to put your glue at um, that way it, it will stick to it because that glue was not trying to stick to the the glittery part on there so scratch that off just use your hot glue and uh, you'll want to stick that on there um, hold it on there um, while it's drying and then like I said you're going to stagger them going having one going up one going down uh, to kind of give it that little carousel look um, but you're going to hold that on there in place until it dries. These lights I got, I couldn't make them work, so I just gave up on those. Um, so I just went ahead and repeated that process, glued all of my reindeer on there. And once I did that, this is my finished product. Um, I absolutely love it. I am definitely going to come back and find out... Um, a way to go ahead and make it turn like I said earlier and I'm going to find some different fairy lights and put them on there I'm going to use those glare or those snowflake ones for something else but here is the finished product um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time